Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll give you a quick overview of the brand new product for 2024 from Viofo, and that's the Viofo VS1 single channel dash camera with the Sony Starvis 2 IMX675 image sensor. So let's get into it. I'd like to start off by letting you know I did receive the VS1 from VFO free of charge, and I did receive compensation for some of my time and effort while going through the prototype phase of this particular product. On the front side of the VS1, we have the lens, which has an aperture of 1.8 and a field of view of 140 degrees. Starting off on this side of the VS1, we have the USB-C connection port, and that's where the input power is provided to the dash camera from either the car charger, which has a USB-A to USB-C cable, or from the optional HK4 hardwiring kit for parking mode support. This is also where the data cable is connected to the dash camera to transfer files to your computer. And just below that we have the 180 degree hinge, which allows for a great amount of flexibility in adjusting the dash camera on your windshield. Looking at the rear side of the VS1, we have the windshield mount, which is detachable from the main GPS mount. Then just below that we have the GPS mount, which is part of the 180 degree hinge. And then below that, there's a speaker grill for the speaker from the VS1. On the lower section is the video protect and Wi-Fi button. Just below that is the recording status LED. It also shows status of the Wi-Fi system when active. And just below that is an opening in the case for the internal microphone. Moving on to the other side of the VS1, at the very top is the GPS mount, which does slide into the windshield mount. And those two are detachable from each other, so you can remove the dash camera from the windshield if necessary. In the middle is the memory card slot. This dash camera supports memory cards of up to 512 gigabytes in capacity. Then in the lower center, we have the only other button on the VS1, and it's a microphone related button, but it has other functions as well. It has a microphone status LED to show whether audio is being recorded. And then depending on how you press the button, you can affect whether the audio is being recorded. You can force a formatting of the micro SD card, or you can reset the camera itself. Moving further into the box, we have the read before installation card and two windshield static installation stickers. And then next we have the VS1 user manual. And here are the final items that are included with the VS1 in the bottom of the box. You have the data cable to connect to the VS1 to your computer to transfer files to and from your computer. You have the power cable, which is used with the D5000 dual port USB-A car power adapter. You can call it a cigarette lighter adapter or a power port adapter, depending on your terminology. But it does have two USB-A connection ports, so you can power the dash camera and connect something else to it at the same time. You have the installation tool, which helps you route cables throughout your vehicle. There's a spare adhesive pad for the windshield mount for the VS1. And a first for a VFO camera that I've ever reviewed, there's an included 32 gigabyte micro SD card free of charge or included in the price of the product. This is my feature comparison chart for the VOFO VS1 dash camera, comparing it with the VOFO A119 Mini 2 and the VOFO WM1 dash cameras. All three of those models are single channel dash cameras, and the WM1 and VS1 have the same Novatech processor, the 96565 processor, while the A119 Mini 2 has the 96580 processor. The biggest difference between the WM1 and the VS1 is the VS1 is using the newer Sony Starvis 2 IMX675 image sensor like the A119 Mini 2 dash camera is using. I'm not going to discuss every feature in the comparison chart. I'll let you pause the video so you can take an in-depth look at each of the features in each of these dash cameras. Moving on to the second page of the feature comparison chart. Again, you can pause the video to take a more in-depth look at these, but voice commands are supported with the VS1 and they were not with the WM1. Of course, they all support voice notifications, operating temperature range is the same. Moving on to the pricing for the VS1, the list price on the VFO website is basically $150 US and the pre-sale running from January 3rd, 2024 through January 10th, 2024, you can obtain this for $120 US. So you might want to take advantage of that sale. And remember that does include that 32 gigabyte micro SD card. But if you want to store additional files, you can purchase an additional larger capacity memory card at the same time. In this section, I'll show you some daytime sample footage from the Viofo VS1. This is not meant to be a comparison section to any other dash camera, just to give you some quick examples of some daytime footage. I'll be gathering daytime 
nighttime, and footage from other dash cameras to compare with the VS1 in an additional video to appear on my channel soon. Thanks for checking out my quick introduction to the Viofo VS1 dash camera, the first dash camera released by Viofo in 2024. If you would like to make a purchase of this dash camera, check the video description section for an affiliate link to the Viofo website. And since it is an affiliate link, I will make a commission on that purchase, but at no extra cost to you. Look for my full review of the VS1 appearing in my channels sometime soon. Thanks for watching.